Civil rights groups are filing a lawsuit against the Black Hawk County Sheriff's Office. The ACLU of Iowa says the office makes more than $300,000 a year by charging inmates for room and board while in the jail. It is a common practice in Iowa called pay to stay. However, civil rights groups say Black Hawk County's fees are too high and not being used properly. State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks joins us live to break down this lawsuit. Connor. Beth, roughly two thirds of Iowa jails charge inmates for their stay. It's legal to charge for the, th the cost of room and board. However, the ACLU of Iowa says that the Black Hawk County Sheriff's Office is using those funds for recreation. That includes funding a gun range, cotton candy and ice cream machine rentals, and even laser tag for employees and their families. The ACLU of Iowa and the Debtors Prison Project says that Sheriff Tony Thompson's office requires inmates to sign a confession of judgment document before they're released. Signing that document means the inmate agrees to pay $70 per day for room and board as well as administrative fees. The ACLU says deputies are seizing money, money people have on them when they're booked and can garnish wages to recoup the cost. Latisa Roberts is a plaintiff in this suit. She's a single mom of three who lives on a fixed income. Two years ago, she was incarcerated. Roberts says deputies handed her documents saying she had to sign, she had to pay rather $730 for her stay. Roberts says she signed the documents because she thought it was required for her release. The sheriff's office is supposed to uphold the law and not bend it. As a mom, it makes me upset because that money that could be going towards, that's money that could be going towards feeding my children. But instead, it was put towards things such as bring cotton candy and ice cream machines for fun. In a statement, Sheriff Tony Thompson says the fees inmates are charged are in accordance with state law and the $70 per day rate is appropriate. Thompson also says the, the amount of money used for recreation is minimal and they're used for days where officers can spend time with their families as well as the community. Live at the Iowa Capitol Bureau, Connor Hendricks, KCRG TV 9.